Thank you for joining us here at HockeyUs.com. Sign up for our website today. Visit our website at HockeyUs.com. Become a member and join the uh, Hockey Us community. Help us rate different products that we review here. Uh, also give us an idea of what products that you'd like to see us review. Uh, and hopefully we can uh, fit them into our schedule here and, and uh, put some of the stuff up there. So uh, give everybody a chance to uh, more or less see what, um, what products that you don't have in your area if you're interested in buying them, help you out in your choices. Uh, and actually uh, gives you a better uh, feel for, um, for the product itself, especially if, um, if it's something that doesn't, is not available in your community. Uh, it helps out a great deal when uh, guys give their different opinions on their likes and dislikes. But you can't do that unless you're a member of HockeyUs.com. Okay, so the, uh, the thing that we're going to be reviewing for you today is the Warrior, the AK-27 shaft. Uh, this was used by Kovalov uh, for, a, for a while, and uh, the particular model I have here is the 85 Flex. This is the clear, the non-grip. The grip version comes in a, uh, I guess, a reddish color, and uh, this is just a regular... Um, the regular shaft, it's not tapered, does not have any um, kick point to it. Uh, this is one of the shafts that Weir claims to be, um, uh, you know, just a, a shaft that taking hard shots from the point. This is something that um, is just a load shaft, you know, it's not a low kick point. This is something that you can more or less beat the, uh, beat the crap out of, out on the ice, uh, because it is uh, one solid square. Uh, this is a square shaft, and it is uh, the same size from all the way from down at the bottom of the hosel all the way to the butt end. Uh, again, it comes in 50 flex, 85 flex, and 100 flex here in the U.S. Again, it comes in cl uh, clear and grip. And um, one thing that we did, uh, we just went out and got ourselves a gram scale. And uh, Warrior rates this at 280 grams. So what we did was we uh, put this on a gram scale, and uh, it came out at 348 grams. So we thought maybe uh, we would take the butt end out, which was a wooden butt end, which I'll show you here. This wooden butt end that, that came inside the shaft, we took it out and maybe figured that that was, uh, was giving us the extra weight, and it wasn't. Um, that actually taking this out gave us about 300 grams, and the, uh, the butt end was about 48 grams. So um, that's on our gram scale. Again, uh, just the shaft itself was about 300 grams, and the uh, butt end itself was 48 grams. Uh, so sometimes guys like to take the butt end out and just use that little plastic insert that, uh, that you can find around uh, from store to store. Uh, again, actually this shaft here is rated at 300 grams, 48 grams for the, uh, uh, for the butt end. And it's just a nice, tough, durable stick. Um, we actually have a, a lot of good um, responses on this shaft here. Not a lot of breakages on this. It is just one good, solid shaft that Warrior has made. And hopefully they won't change that this coming year. Uh, really cool graphics on this. There's the AK-27 uh, graphic that's on there. And uh, pretty much the uh, standard shaft that Warrior is making. Again, don't forget to sign up for HockeyUs.com. Become a member. Uh, tell us what you think about this product and all the other products that we list on our website. And hopefully we'll be hearing from you uh, sometime soon. Thank you for joining us here at HockeyUs.com. And uh, again, what we're going to be doing for you is we're going to rate um, most of the uh, products that we do here. Uh, you know, we're going to give you our opinion on what we feel. And we need you to do the same thing, but you cannot do that unless you're a member. So here we're going to start off with balance. Balance because this is just a regular um, straight shaft. It's not tapered. It uh, doesn't have a low kick point to it. I'm going to give it a four because it's very well balanced because it's the same, uh, uh, basically uh, same shape from, from top to bottom. Durability, I'm going to give it a five because this fix any of your regular, um, uh, I believe it's the uh, .620 blades that are inside of there, any standard uh, hosel blade that you would find in your stores. Uh, flexibility, again, we're going to give that a 5, and I don't mean flex as far as how to stick flexes, but how it fits uh, a lot of different blades, and uh, it fits any, any major manufacturer that uses a standard hosel system. Uh, stick feel, I'm going to give it a 5. Uh, we've tried this stick out, and it's still uh, from, I guess from the blade all the way through the shaft, you can feel the puck. Uh, it's a great stick handling stick. Um, great stick if you want to go out and just take a lot of slap shots with and all. Uh, stick handling itself, we'll give it another five again because you're going to put your own blade on this, and uh, and you know more or less you can stick handle. It's it's the blade is really what makes the uh, the difference in that visual looks. I'm going to give it a three. I'm not a real fond um, uh, person of this uh, the gold graphics. Hopefully, Warrior will be changing it up this year. And uh, weight, I'm going to give it a three only because they said it was 280 grams and it ends up coming out to be 300 grams plus 48 for the butt end. So again, come on, hang on to our website, log on our website today, become a member, and let us know what you think about the AK-27. Thank you for visiting us at HockeyUs.com.